from the education for those women here on the side here. Maybe the audience today, Your Excellency, Excellencies, now Lord Mayor, and uh, we have the speaker here. We have the, I think, well, um, CJ is also here, Chief uh, Justice is also here. Um, I understand that former Vice Presidents are also here. His Excellency Bakadunya Dabo, Her Excellency Dr. Satuture, and all the dignitaries around we say good morning. Um, my name is Ali Bola, Sister Hall, the Director of Press and Public Relations. I'm sure you appreciate the entertainment by the Gambia Armed Forces Band and uh, how they have displayed.
thank you very much, uh, Ami Boya, Director of Press. We are celebrating 58 years of Nets of Good. But three days back, I also celebrated 58 years of my birthday. Your Excellencies, the First Lady, Fatima Barrow, and Madam Sergeant Barrow Barrow. Former Vice President present, Honorable Speaker of the National Assembly, my Lord, the Chief Justice. His Excellency, Sir Sir Agnes, former President of the Federal Republic of Somalia, former First Lady, Lady Chilen Jawara, Honorable Members of Cabinet and the National Assembly, Lord Mayors of Bajan and Kanifu Ministers, representatives of international organizations and partners, political party leaders, government officials and service chiefs, community and religious leaders, fellow Gambians, boys and girls. Annually, we observe our National Day on the 18th February to renew our ties and commitments as a nation. It is an occasion that creates opportunities for solidarity, reflection, and rededication to our motherland. As we celebrate Gambia's 50th Independence Anniversary today, let us therefore focus on our common futures as Gambian citizens instead of our differences. We are compelled to coexist as Gambians and to accept the wisdom and necessity of living together in peace and harmony to develop our homeland despite our diverse opinions and interests. Fortunately, our differences can be harmonized by democracy. As a political system and a social process, in our family systems, communities, institutions, organizations, and the nation at large. For this reason, the theme for my address this year is democracy, a recipe for peace and development. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, democracy allows us to consult, dialogue, negotiate, compromise, and accommodate dissent. It is a system that rejects injustice, inequality, suppression, dictatorship, and autocracy. In addition, it promotes rights, freedoms, procedures, and regulations. In the Gambia, as Democrats, we maintain the supremacy of the Constitution and the rule of law, with due regard according to our diversity. <coughs> Convinced that democracy is a framework to attain peace, development and stability, my government is duly committed to good governance and trained in the principles of democracy. We believe in democracy 
for peace and development, as well as democracy for self-determination, economic growth, and protection of human dignity. In brief, we believe in inclusive democracy for inclusive development and stability. In our model of democracy, the government legitimately derives its mandate and authority from the people and hence must defend their values and principles, beliefs and practices, aspirations and social structures. In this way, there is harmony between the government and the people. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our national day is a reminder for us to showcase our patriotism and loyalty as proud Gambians who are willing to accommodate one and other. To this end, my government is determined to unite the people, to work together for peace and development, and leave behind durable achievements. Our governance approach and development initiatives illustrates our commitment to democracy and how we have successfully used it as a development model. Ladies and gentlemen, 2022 was a challenging year. It confronted us with rising living costs and hiking prices of fuel, influenced by the global crisis. This reduced the ability of households to fulfill their basic needs and responsibilities. Conscious of the responsibilities of the state and to deliver on our promise to stabilize prices, my government will strive to ease the accompanying hardship imposed on the people. We took various steps to lower the price of fuel, which has implications on business transactions and the price of commodities. We will continue to monitor the public institutions and work with the private sector to maximize their contributions to national development and to improve living standards in the country. Fellow Gambians, distinguished guests, boys and girls, although we have made numerous inroads into institutional and infrastructural development, we are eager to do a lot more. We have broken new frontiers in providing electricity, yet we are keener today to reach and serve all parts of the country best. We have expanded healthcare provision and improved the health sector. But our desire is to have a healthy nation where in life expectancy equals the best in other parts of the world. The targets for these aspirations are embodied in the new five-year recovery focused development plan and vision 20. 50. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in all genuine democracies like ours, there are adequate checks and balances to prevent unlawful actions. The law provides a level playing field for all citizens as such. Living by the law ensures that we do not offend anyone and thereby coexist in peace and harmony. In this sense, peace must imply living in a safe environment where lives and property are protected. And hunger, poverty and disease do not cause any suffering. 
through our thoughts and actions. Peace must also filter through to every segment of our community, families, and institutions. Our national agenda, as defined in the new development plan and vision 2050, outlines how to recover from the effects of the pandemic, inflation, and climate change. These documents also map our routes to attain our national goals and targets. We must work hard, however, and look into the future with guided optimism and readiness to overcome challenges. Unlike natural disasters, we have full control over the choice to act in a civil and democratic manner to maintain peace and develop our country together. Thus, let us make a conscious choice to demonstrate that we are indeed the smiling cause of West Africa and a democratic nation of peace, especially during the forthcoming local government elections. Distinguished personalities, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, peace, stability and development go together. Hence, the common characteristic of the strongest nations is stability. They have overcome the fear and incident of instability, particularly through military takeovers and unconstitutional uprisings. In contrast, conflicts and military takeovers persistently hinder Africa's development. Up to sections of a nation rejoice when there is a military takeover, but it is always short life. The people must rise against the horrors of wars, conflicts, and unrest, beginning with the gallant citizens in uniform. We have noted that in recent years, the elite in African armies have stayed away from unconstitutional actions. This should now filter down to all ranks within every army on the continent. As we did in 2016, there are legal and democratic and constitutional ways of removing unpopular government, governments. So there is no wisdom in choosing paths that lead to unrest and destruction. As we internally manage the affairs of our dear nation, we must also look inward with more patriotic vigor and unite to strengthen internal security. Recent reports of armed robbery, starving and such unfamiliar brutal acts of cowardice in our society threatening national security. I call on the general public to step up, neighborhood, work networks, and be more vigilant. Criminal acts leading to injury and loss of lives are unacceptable and will not be tolerated. At the institutional level, my government will continue its capacity enhancement efforts for the security sector to competently handle and decisively prevent such deadly crimes. Looking ahead, the younger generations will appreciate us better if we construct a future of comfort, peace, and happiness for them. This is what democracy offers. Boys and girls, my government continually refers to education as a priority and will never cease exploring ways of ensuring that in the long term we have a literate and sufficiently skilled population. Education is the key to development and the more adequately trained and skilled citizens we have, the greater our chances are to leave the country out of ignorance, poverty, and ill health. Our school children, boys and girls, we have always played a significant role during our independence anniversary celebrations. I urge you to take 
your participation is beyond the morning parents. Reflect on the significance of the day among yourself and try to become a new breed of democratic citizens. Like every responsible parent and citizen, I advise you to work hard at school. Love your country and endeavor passionately to contribute to its development. The law abiding, grab the technologies and opportunities before you and never despair of success. This is an era of knowledge, technology, and seeking evidence-based solutions to challenges. Be aware of these and be mindful of the consequences of your actions. Wherever you may be, be proud of your background and its people. Always be, always feel proud to say, I am an African and a true Gambian. Because all that beat us is not gold. Do not be deceived by the distractions you may come across. Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot mention the school children without reference to the teaching fraternity as a major partner in development. Teaching is a noble profession, and teachers influence character formation and safe society. Learners excel in educational institutions because of the processes teachers manage therein. Accordingly, my government is interested in the performance of our students as it is in the welfare of the teachers. As a result, I call on our teachers and all those in public service to always pursue the part of dialogue in handling their concerns. My government has an open door policy and will engage with its workers to reach amicable and realistic compromises on matters affecting their welfare. We appreciate and thank the teachers, the school children and their parents, the security services, the participating organizations, and all those who have contributed to the success of this celebration. The security services have made the occasion lively and joyful. We appreciate and thank them most sincerely. Likewise, I am thankful to the friends and partners of the nation for their support and contributions to the welfare of the people. Indeed, I deeply appreciate all those who have turned out today to celebrate the day with us. And I congratulate everyone present and the entire population on this joyous occasion. As we leave this venue, let us remember that in the true spirit of democracy is embedded the recipe for peace, development and stability. Similarly, similarly in solidarity and hard work lie our economic growth, success and prosperity. To succeed, we must unite. I wish you all a very happy independent anniversary celebration. God bless the Gambian nation. I thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for those wise words and reflections and reflections on the theme of the year in your statement. Badiol, Bilunga Kumaya Tabake, His Excellency President Adam Aparo, Aya Kumaya Ma Pomini Anoko Kumaya Ta, Bari, Ntol Mini Bija, Nyantang, Nimpen Yese, Suo Kono Mini Anoko, Nye Nyininka, Bengo Keta Nyari, Nga Obu Nya, Nga Ke Kuti Mini Anoko, Sasa Mani, Constitutional La Carola, Anilu Admini Anoko Ibe Bangkoka. 
akon la dan kane a demokrasi kono de wolo buka hada ma dingo nyim bunya ngaje kon be mukilin nete ala kuma kono ya ya tan diko bakundi ya ani banku kalo amuku le te miya lon ko wolo den kala klinte na ke gambe dingo te miya lon ko se ke nya bo moti akon dunia la kolo ya e gambe fana amale bari nse kata bro fero ni ya sinna wo kolo ya se kala no nga nya ti wolla akaba haklo tula la man sakunda do ko bunna la min ya lon ko de man sakunda ani banko kanja ka je e fana je sasi minna banko la na ko ma te se to le kala mo le do ko ke ako ku de ta min ya lon ko e ka ke e manya na kala ba o ga te ni na mo fi du banko ka si lo le de la re e ka ma sa ya si lo ni les ni no si lo min la wo to se wo si lo no ma ako wo to tan ko bunda mo be se te tan ka la te se ha ki lo tu ku ja o min ya lon ko de te kan na sa te to me fere min ke la pour ka je ko e boje ako lo no bunda ku ma ya ka ay bi ni wo sa si ay kara mo sa si mo be se lo i lo du la la ya be ni sa ka ba je ni ya me ay ja ma be konto ay ma ko du ya ni la min ya lon ko e te ka ba ko ma ko e a we mo be se to ay je mboka yi be fi be su magala su fi ñewé tasaaro nga ñibi ñu laaj la lan nga fressé ndi wa nga né ah man dé ah man la doon la ka
boss. Baba na. Li independent la, li independent la. Da ba mungi benen live media na. Wa mungi try na. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.